those that work forces are the same that bar crosses. Killing in the name of some of those that work forces are the same that bar crosses. Killing in the name of killing in the name of killing in the name of and now you do what they told you. And folks, uh, let's go ahead now and call them live on air. Let's let's call. It goes to voicemail. Outrageous. You know what I'm calling for? I am calling for Texans. It's got to be done now. And I've got a Dutch film crew here. Um, I'm supposed to take them somewhere else after the show, but you know what? They're just going to have to go with me to the legislature. It's got to be done. It's your house. Everyone needs to peacefully, listening to the sound of my voice right now, peacefully go down to that state capitol, go through all the metal detectors and stuff that weren't there just a month ago, and go to your state senator's offices. And they'll, oh, the media will be like, this is terrible. A slave Alex Jones said we should go talk to our so-called castrated, vestigial, ceremonial Senate and say, stop being ceremonial. And, and, uh, I'll, I'll say it this way. If you believe this is wrong, you should peacefully but sternly go into their office and say, I'm sick of you letting federal goons outside of law come here and stick their hands down my pants. If the feds want to have a blockade, this is just like what we saw in Madison, but I want it to be peaceful. It is now time for people to go to the Texas State House. It is now time for people to go down there. And yes, I'm going to go down there at 2 o'clock today, about 2.30. I'm going down to the Capitol to go in and to see my state senators and to tell them, hey, I can't fly with my family to the Caribbean or to show them D.C. or to go show them Yosemite and, and, and the big redwoods because there are goons waiting there that want to fondle my wife and children. Okay, force their federal hand. Make them shut down the airports. My rights are already shut down. I'm calling on everyone. That's it. I'm calling on everyone to go to the Capitol now while they're in session, to go there now peacefully. So you have to even add peacefully, like, like ooh, it's evil to say go to my state house where they want to turn into an armored keep and intimidate you from even getting in. Now they're saying to let you get into the U.S. Capitol, they're going to build this whole labyrinth museum and then restrict people even ever being able to get tours of the Capitol. When I was, you know, eight years old, I could just go walk right in. You can go see Ron Paul still, but not for long. And everybody should go see their state reps. Everybody should go to them and go see their state senators. I'm going down there. You know why I'm going down there? Because I can't even call them. They've hidden the phone number and you call it and it goes to voicemail. We got to physically go down to the state house, and I'm going down there. Get Aaron Dyke saddled up. Get Rob Dew saddled up with the cameras. We're going down there today. This far, no further. I am going, and I am going to physically have my presence there, and I am going to physically go in those state senators' offices, and I am going to physically tell them, you are my servant. The house of this great state, our elected representatives, the true government, not these federal New World Order perverts caught stealing and everything else, we are here to tell you now that... The lawsuits have been filed. The people are angry. You get in there and you carry out the people's will and you call the bluff of these scumbags. And you know what the feds will do. They'll send one of their provocateurs into Texas. Hell, the, the, this wasn't planned, so they'll have trouble pulling anything today at the state house as they've done before. And you go into that rat creature Perry's office, that fake conservative who hated the Tea Party until he realized he couldn't beat it, so he tried to co-opt that Bilderberg group member. You go down there and you let them know that you are not pu not putting up with it, calling all the Tea Party people, everybody. This is not something where we get a permit to march. This is not something where we have groups that sit there and tell us what to do. If you don't like what's going on with these redcoats coming into our town, our city, our state, and telling us that they're going to carry out the modern Stamp Act and search our persons, our houses, our effects, as they're ruling in states all over the country, like Indiana, no Fourth Amendment. They are breaking the Fourth Amendment scientifically in front of everyone. 
and we are going down there to the state house but don't you wait it's going on right now he said there's five six seven hours left they'll be going till late tonight let's cause the media to have to focus everybody listening i don't have the staff call all the local news media in austin uh you call uh, your news now uh call cbs call all the stations kvue 590 a.m. You call them and you tell them the people are going to the Texas State Capitol today to say we had a unanimous vote 138 to 0 in our house and we had a unanimous vote lined up in that Senate and you let these carpet bagging scallywag pervert control freak national security force people that are announcing they're seizing our entire infrastructure taking our farms and ranches over taking our internet control systems over and taking over our entire society and bankrupting us for foreign banks the true fight for liberty starts today the 25th day of May, let that day be remembered just like Gonzalez, that they're not taking our dignity, they're not fondling our genitals, they're not carrying out their evil anymore. We're going to that capital, and I want the people there now. I want the people there now. You go to that capital right now, you get over there, and you let them know that we're not putting up with this. You go in there to those state senators, and you say, listen. 138 to zero passed to do this. Some federal bureaucrat sends you a letter and can't, some U.S. attorney can't even get the bill number right and tells a bunch of lies. And then you sit there and put your tail between your legs and urinate all over yourself like a puppy who's scared. And then you sit there and back out. That's not Texas. And if you don't have the courage to stand up against this scum, then resign. Resign, you carpetbagging trash. Twice the people of Texas have kicked federal occupation after the Civil War, after the Civil War, out of that very capital. And I've had it with them. I've had it with what they're doing. I've had it with their garbage. And I'm not going to live on my knees as a slave, and my children aren't. And I know we're supposed to go to Tripoli with the bombardment. How I'm, I'm tempted to get in my car right now. I'm not putting up with it anymore. I'm going down there. I'm, if I better call that Dutch film crew, see if they want to tag along, because because I'm not I'm not giving them a tour of deindustrialization today. Oh man, I tell you what, I sh oh my, I, I am I have had enough. There is a tide in the affairs of men. There is a time. Uh, who was it? Patrick Henry that said the war has already begun, and it's an info war, ladies and gentlemen. And they're trying to intimidate us. They're trying to break our will. They're trying to, to, to condition us to accept total takeover. And I've put my name, my treasure, my life, everything on the line for more than 16 years. And everything we've talked about is unfolded and getting crazier and weirder by the day with criminals believing they've broken our will and they can do whatever they want. But believe me, you can do something big today because the media and the international media and everybody else, if we can get a lot of people down there at that Capitol and we can get the media down there at that Capitol, that the citizens of Texas, the citizens of America, if you're listening to me in Waco, get in your car right now, leave work, tell them you got something you got to do. It's your freedom. It's your future. If you are in San Antonio listening, if you're in Dallas listening, this is going to be going on all night, you get in your car. If you're in Austin listening right now, you don't have an excuse. If you're in Fredericksburg, Texas, listen to me right now, you don't have an excuse. I, I don't, if you're in Hayes County, you don't have an excuse. If you're in Bastrop, you don't have an excuse. If you're in Taylor, you don't have an excuse. If you're listening to us on 1330 AM right now out of Taylor, you don't have an excuse. If you're listening to 90.1 right now, you don't have an excuse. My state, my elected representatives did the right thing and voted unanimously to tell the feds you don't break federal and state law and stick your hands down people's pants, and they can't even produce a law of how they're able to do it. You heard the state rep on that. You got a bunch of lawless crooks right over here at the Berkstrom Airport sticking their hands down people's pants. If a woman who was a sex victim complained, they beat her up and arrested her. Now, that's how America works. And right over here is our government. We supposedly run this country. We supposedly, this is our country. We the people, right?
and you got a bunch of 21st century redcoats running all over us, a bunch of 21st century Santa Anas running all over us, and I am sick and tired of it. So you saddle up, ladies and gentlemen, and you meet me down there. I'm leaving here at 2. I'll be getting down there by 2.30. And, and, and we politely and in an orderly way, because they will definitely will see the people who don't want to be groped and humiliated and molested as bad folks, though I know a lot of the state police down there are good people, fans of the show, and we're going to go in there, and we're going to go to the state senator's offices. We're going to say, where are the state senator's offices? We're going in there to talk to them right now. We are not putting up with this. And I want people all over the country to go to your state houses today. I want talk show hosts all over the country. Get to your state houses, whether in session or not, and say, get the TSA. May May 25th, 2011 be remembered as the day that Texas stood up. It doesn't matter if they chicken out. They're probably going to have a special session. We'll get this building and, 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 and beat them then. But it'll be a major media event. It will be known as a day, just like the Tea Parties began three years ago and got coped by the Republicans, that people stood up against the government takeover of health care plan. They got it passed, but now it's in shambles falling apart. And it's the same thing with water fluoridation. Big cities all over the U.S. and Canada removing it. Small towns everywhere. Lago Vista right outside town. Huge events last week here in Austin. City of Austin under massive uh, uh, pressure. Lawsuits getting geared up against them, putting that garbage in our water. We're on the march. The empire is on the run big time. Now, if you will ever look back on this day later and call yourself a red-blooded American, a red-blooded lover of liberty, the least you can do, you know, they tell cops bug their eyes out at you, bow up to you like a chicken, walk around like a chicken to intimidate you. I mean, you go down there with cameras, cops will run over and get in your face. They're trying to hire more and more thugs. So what? Say, shame on you running over asking for my license like it's dirty. I'll give you my license and then I want your badge number, trooper. I'm filing a report on you. And then I'm going to the legislature about what you're doing. You don't want me here. I bet you don't want those 130-plus 100 unanimous voters, our representatives that said get the TSA out of here. They've, they've brainwashed these cops. We're all going down there. If you have no courage, then just go ahead and, and go join Mao Zedong. It doesn't take courage to go down there. It takes courage to let them grope you. Some of those that work forces are the same that bar crosses. And now you do what they told you. And now you do what they told you.